Hello, welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. This one is a patron vote winner, and it would be rude to not place them among the best rock bands of all time. It's Judas Priest. Don't you think Rob Halford looks so different in different eras? Everyone always wonders how that sound is done and to be fair a lot of men have trouble getting up into their head voice so this is like a full chord closure head voice not a wispy falsetto is really for place, so I find that sound by being really ducky. Wah, 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 wah. It's like a crying baby is the way to find it. And then once you find that kind of crying baby sound, you can refine it onto something a little bit nicer, get that big vibrato flowing. A lot of people struggle with this, and at first it can take a bit of time, but the key really, really is, as much as it feels counterintuitive, is to make sure that you are totally relaxed. And I mean totally relaxed. I mean your neck, you're not pushing in with extra breath, your neck muscles have no tension really in them, your jaw is not tense, your tongue is not tense, you're just, you're just letting it flow. He's in that kind of forward placed crying baby sound and, and that sounds like I'm being rude but not at all. That's where he would have started and then he's moved on to where he is now. But it is the same thing with distortion. Again, although he's doing all that kind of squeezed performance, distortion is all about finding a place that is relaxed. When you get it really good, you don't have to put that much effort in. It isn't about effort. It's about finding the place which you have to put in the least effort for the biggest output. So no effort from the singer but massive output audibly. See he's just chilling. Love. So it's like uh it's a love. <laughs> So, so English. <gasps> there we go. I can't help but smile. Something that I want to relate it to, a lot of you will be guitar players or bass players or drummers and think about how you play drums or how you play guitar. If you get tense, you cannot play that as fluidly and vocals is exactly the same. When you get it really good with any instrument, it just feels fluid, it feels relaxed, it feels easy. This is the same with singing. Now, I also love all those, uh, those little flicks up to head voice. He's got such great access to that really twangy full head voice that cuts through. And that forward placement is what's helping him cut through. If he was like, oh, uh, and it kind of went back here. One, it's uh, not as nice a sound or it's uh, a more classical sound if you place it correctly, unlike what I just did. But it also really cuts through against the band. This 
it's like real. It's really wide how he's placing it, actually. So like there, you can see that his mouth shape, although he does relax his jaw down a certain amount, it's not a really long like, oh, choir boy shaped mouth. It's, ah, ah, it's like a smile or like a half moon sort of shape. And the way that you shape your mouth really, really changes the sound. Warmer tones, opera singers, or even people like Adele, will go for that rounder shape because it really, really warms the sound. If you want a punchy sound, sometimes something a little bit wider, a little bit more like a letterbox, um, it's something that you might want to try. It's so interesting how the vocals echo the instruments in this. He sounds like a guitar. Wow, imagine that audience, eh? Wow. Wow. <laughs> That must just feel amazing. Yes! He landed like a Power Ranger, it was the best. I love how he just does not care. He's making like wild, ridiculous sounds and that's what's so refreshing and wonderful about it. I think to be a truly great artist, you have to kind of let go of your inhibitions. Or if you're someone that does have inhibitions, I'm gonna revise that. There are ways of being within those inhibitions, but you still have to show them in quite a fragile way. It's a different way. You can be kind of quiet and reserved in that way, but you still have to really, really show everything. Singers bear their souls, you know? I love his vibrato as well. Look at the gong! <laughs> Love it.
I think in the way that they so refreshingly express themselves through music, you get a real sense of who they are. Actually, there's something really, really honest about them and you feel like, you know, they're just normal blokes who like love music and happen to be freaking great at it and just go out and bear their souls and suddenly they're in this place. The way that they are on stage it's like so normal and relatable yet also conversely so like wow you're incredible <laughs> it's such a weird thing That's a really nice vocal too. I'm pushing extra breath out at the end of the phrase. So it kind of makes it slinky. I also think that he's really interesting because he's a massive, massive fan of Queen and you can see that he has brought on a little bit of that showmanship. I mean, he's got it himself. It's very different, but I can see what he loves about Queen, how he loves that showmanship and he's really taken that on board himself and is doing that in the most wonderful, wonderful way. I love that cheeky smile, he's just having fun. Give me a change, come on. Changes, come on. Changes. Okay, so I really want to talk before we get to the end of this because so many people struggle with these high notes and as I said, men especially because it is a part of the voice that we don't go to often. I often think of range, like learning to do the splits. Um, some people naturally are more bendy and flexible than others. Some people's vocal cords and ability to stretch their vocal cords for various different reasons are um, just more bendy and stretchy. However, you can extend that range, especially upwards, because that is when you're tightening your vocal cords. And really all it needs is for you to go there little and often in a really relaxed way. I do a lot of work with SOVT, bottle and straw, going up to those high notes, going back down to those low notes, and just stretching my voice a little bit every day. It makes the world of difference, and suddenly you'll find you have much more range than you thought you did. They maintain that energy. Yes. <laughs> what I love about them is that it's not about perfection, although there is something that is incredibly beautifully perfect within it, but it's not about achieving like the perfect voice. It's about achieving the most expression. It's about giving your entire self on stage and then, then suddenly 
within all the floors and the gruffness and the high notes and the screams and the angst, then perfection arises. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.